Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the Weekly Contest 373. Make lexographic girly smallest array by swapping elements. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about these problems or this problem. I don't know what you... But yeah, uh, basically, the idea here is noticing that, and I took a long time on this to be honest. I don't actually know why looking back. But, but the idea is that if you could swap two numbers, uh, there's like a well. Let me rephrase this. There's a transitive property here, meaning if you can swap A and B, and you can swap B and C, then you can swap A and C. Hope that makes sense. Transitive property, and you could just think about this in swaps because you swap one of them, and then you swap, and then so that means that you know you can you can figure out a way to swap them so that you know the the uh you can swap A and C, and B remains in the same price, right? I trust you. You can do this. And then after that, that means that you basically have a equivalent class of swappable elements. And, you know, when, when you uh, think about equivalent classes, uh, or at least when I do, I think of union fine. And of course, I did try, I did get a get of that path. And then I was like, wait, there's something simpler, which is sorting, because these are just numbers, right? So basically, if you sort, then you basically uh, have a, not a sliding window, but you could partition them based off, uh, um, the distance between the two adjacent elements. If it's too big, then uh, then now you have a new partition, and for each partition, you sort everywhere in between, and you greedily uh, uh, you greedily put the smallest number in the earliest position. Hope that makes sense, and that's pretty much it. So then after that, it becomes implementation. Um, yeah, I, I I don't like my code. I did this in a very funky way. But basically here, I sort it by X, keeping track of the index. Um, and then now, like I said, and this is the partition code. This is contest code is a little bit ugly. If it's, uh, if it's good, then you put in the current. Otherwise, you, uh, you basically do, do this thing, which is uh, basically do, 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 sort the indexes that we care about. And then... I think I could win this in a different way, actually. Hmm. But up uh, and then greedy assign the smallest number to the front, right? That's basically what we're saying. Uh, we we and why do that by sorting the index and then we just match them up one by one and then uh, we create a new partition and then at the last partition we have to handle it. Like, so this is basically it. Me handling the last partition. It's not very clean. Maybe I could add. I, I think actually the way that I would have now do it again is maybe just add a. Uh, eh, anyway, let's just do it this way. But you could add a sentinel with like a billion or something, and that'll never get processed, and and that'll allow you to do it. But I don't want to, you know, give people the wrong code or whatever. I mean, this is right. It is ugly, but it is right. Uh, so what's the complexity here, right? Well. We have one big sort, we have a lot of other sorts, but in combination, it's going to be just n log n, so everything's going to be n log n because it gets dominated by the sorting. So n log n time, O of n space, and that's pretty much this problem. The idea is just, you know, uh, the core idea to understand for this one is just, like I said, the transitive property. And once you do that, then, uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you think. And yeah, you could watch me solve it live during the contest now. Actually, I didn't even look at the problems names, but it just feels like it's a little bit predictable at this point. All right, because uh, I was like, that, that seems a little bit easy. But um, okay, makes lexicographic smaller as a way by swapping elements. All right, what are we doing? Any number of times. Okay. What is limit? Oh, I know this one kind of. Oh, wait. Maybe I misunderstood this. Oh, 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 not the indexes. Okay, okay. So let's see. Hmm. Is this a digit DP? It 
Is there a greedy? I mean, do you just do them in order? I mean, then that'll be end square if you're really not careful. Um, okay, well. Hmm. Any two indexes. Oh, it's any two. I, for some reason, I, for, I thought there was limit indexes still. Okay, so if it's any two indexes, then it is just, uh, what's my court? Uh, It is just union fine, right? That's what I was doing. Uh, I'm lazy today, so I'm looking up my uh, my my union fine template. I should put it somewhere. I mean, it's not a template. Uh, like it's a template, but I wrote it. Uh, fine, I'm not gonna. Uh, I'll just uh, I'll just write it. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it is practice in a way, but But, you know, it's still possibility of, you know, making a mistake, clearly. So, uh, yeah. Um, let's see. Actually, I don't even need Union 5. I could just sort, right? Yeah, I guess so. I think I overkilled it a little bit. And then now, basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how do I write this group? Right. If if num survive, uh, uh, if. This is actually away, and of course, this is the second thing, or the first item. So, this is greater than limit. I was checking to see if they're equal to. Then, now everything in previous and array should be sorted. Right? Right, so. Um, I don't even need to do that. Maybe I could just do something like. This is a very lazy way of doing it, actually. Uh, else, then now we have to pass current, right? So for x index and current, we get the indexes and we get the x. So x is already sorted. So then now we get indexes, you go to index, right? And then now indexes that sort for new index. 
and x in sub of indexes and away on current um I think I'm missing uh, one off by one at the end, so, but that's okay. Uh, I just want to see if this is vaguely right. Okay, complaints about it. Uh, fine. What is the intent? Okay, three five. Because I'm missing the last one, that's why. Uh, hmm. This one is just really wrong. One, two, and seven. Oh, uh, because I have to do current is good. Whoops. Okay. Hmm. Current should already be. Sorted, right? Uh, I'm so bad at this, even though I know what to do. Kind of. Hmm. This is just really off, actually. I, I mean, it's one behind the way that I expected it. Oh, uh... This has to have the first element, but also this has to append this as well. Uh, okay, and then now. Yeah, this is terrible, but fine. Just doing it for time. <laughs> that was a little bit slow. All right, so this one. Was Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drum and Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem, this contest, this explanation. Uh, and let me know if, for any questions you might have. Uh, stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.